It is time for our nursing tip of the week. And in this week's tip, I am talking about agonal breathing. And just a little trigger warning, I am gonna be showing a video of this person agonally breathing. This is what's taken from Hospice Nurse Julie's page, and she's a phenomenal educator when it comes to death and dying, so make sure you go check her out. perfectly demonstrates agonal breathing. It's the shallow breath. Sometimes they can be a little noisy. Sometimes they can be more quiet. And a lot of times you'll see the patient sort of gasping for air. If you see your patient breathing like this, it's important to consider two things. One, are we expecting this? Is the patient on hospice already? We are anticipating the patient is going to be passing away. If so, then it's okay to keep your patient comfortable, medicate as necessary, help assist them in having a peaceful death. If we are not expecting our patient to be agonally breathing, then this is definitely a big warning sign that they need help. The first thing that I'm gonna do is call for additional assistance. I'm gonna be calling for a respiratory therapist to come if they're not already there. I'm also going to be making sure I have accurate vital signs on the patient, pulse ox, heart rate, blood pressure, and I'm gonna begin manually assisting the patient to breathe. This means I'm going to be getting a bag valve mask, hooking it up to 100% oxygen or 15 liters, and I'm going to manually bag the patient until we figure out the next steps, whether that is we are going to intubate the patient or not. Agonal breathing is the last stage of breathing before a patient has a respiratory arrest or passes away. And so if we are not anticipating our patient to be passing away, then we definitely need to treat this as an emergency and be assisting the patient's respirations and transferring them to a higher level of care like the ICU. And that is your nursing tip of the week.